Okay, so we're starting a new cup today. Um, I decided what I wanted to do with this wall decal sticker thingy from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm going to put it on a 20 ounce thick. That way I have quite a bit of room around and I can cut out like the extra flowers and stuff if they're not already separate. These ones are not, but for some reason this one is figure that out so but I need to base coat it first so I'm using this King's Gold from Apple Barrel in that Walmart pack I bought that day and I'm just going to use a foam brush and apply it I already did one coat I'm probably gonna do this coat and then one more maybe and then I am going to tack it glitter the entire cup. So, and I'm just pouring the paint right on the cup. It just seemed easier. It is too cold to spray paint. So, this is where I'm at. I'm going to tack it glitter so it's got a fairly smooth base. I'm going to pick out some kind of little, I don't know what fur is saying yet. I don't like. Some kind of plant lady, something. I don't know. I'll figure it out because I'm nowhere near that step yet anyways. So, I'm going to let this coat dry. I'm going to do one more coat. And then I'm going to use Eileen's Tacket over and over. And I'm going to use Yellow Brick Road. Whoops. From IPP because it's got that green and that gold and that yellow in it. It's got a little bit of red, but that's okay because it's going to pull off this reddish kind of stalk. Yeah, I'm like off camera, right? But it's going to pull off that like reddish stalk on the leaves. So I think this will be a pretty fit for this. And I think I'd rather use it as tacket than just glitter. So I will be back. Um, I'm going to put one more coat on. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to put two coats of a 50-50 mix of Aline's tacket on. And then I will be back when I am ready for the actual glitter part. Okay, so I am ready to get this glitter on. Again, it is Yellow Brick Road from It's Pretty Personal. This is all painted and has its two coats of tacket on it. And I'm just going to give it a good heavy coat of glitter to begin with. I think I used this for tacket on a black cup once because I wanted to see if it changed color like a different yellow I had and it did not but all right so I don't know that this is going to burnish properly. It might be too warm in my room.
Okay. Okay. Literally don't know what the hell the problem is with this tumbler. I have never had to work so hard to get a tack it method done. I mean, I don't know if you can see it at this angle, but when I look down it, I can see where there's still glitter standing up. Um, to the point where I had it pushing on the table so hard, I was actually going back to the bare stainless. So we're going to have to come up with a plan B for the bottom because Tackett doesn't really touch up very well. So what I'm thinking is I'll put this slightly up and after I get a coat of resin on it, I'm going to grab like maybe a sage green glitter and do a thin band around the bottom and coat the bottom in the sage green glitter because <laughs> I don't want to waste the rest of this. I worked way too hard to get it to this point and that's the easiest fix I can come up with for that base. So first it's going to go under epoxy and then I'll be back to do the glitter on the bottom. All right I knew I said I wouldn't be back with this one until um, I was ready to decal it but I managed to get it burnished the rest of the way, but I didn't like the bottom. So what I did was I took my trimmer and cut a clean line and then painstakingly removed all of the paints and stuff off the bottom and got it cleaned back up as best I could. So <clears throat> I am going to um, get a coat of epoxy on it at this point. And then when that's on, I'm going to come back in and tape off the bottom. And I'm kind of torn between using this Adobe or Sage. But I'm kind of leaning towards the Adobe. I don't want to bring more green in. So that's what I'm going to do. I cut this for the offset of my decal. And I have, I like plants more than people to go over top. And then obviously my main decals will go on here so because I thought that coppery color coppery orange pulled from the center here and it gave it a little more pop of color so this is the closest glitter I have to that so that's why I chose that one so I'm going to get a coat of epoxy on this and when it's smooth and dry then I'll come back in for the next step Okay, so I have everything ready to move on with this cup. It's got a layer of resin on it. So, we are going to go ahead and get it decaled. I trimmed the decal down because it was too long. I believe this is about 11 inches around, so that's what I cut my decal down to. So, I'll go ahead and peel it. And I'm going to apply it right at that glitter line, as close as I can get. Anyways. And these parts that come out are going to overlap a little bit because I didn't cut a straight line because I didn't want a straight line. I don't like that wrinkle. Uh, oops. I don't know if I can get this all peeled back to there or not. But I'm going to try. Oh, I ripped that leaf. These are um, thinner than the B one. And I'm a little off, but you know what? It'll be fine because um, I'm going to put that edge on with glitter. But I do have to line up where I ripped this leaf. 
Okay. So I'm going to leave these ones overlapping the way they are. I actually wish that I had overlapped oh, the other direction. But again, I don't know if I can get it to lift again. I don't know. That flower is on this side, so that's what I wanted, actually. Okay. I'm good. That was my intention. So it's not bad. So, that's about the back then. And I did my little decal. So, that is that part. I love it so far. And I have a little cup of Mod Podge, a little brush. Um, and I think I'm going to tape off quick. I thought about not taping it, but I don't think with this brush I'm going to be steady enough. You know what? I'm not going to tape it. I'm just going to go for it. So I am satisfied with that coverage. I'm gonna grab this chippy brush right here. And I'm just gonna dust any loose bits off the decal because I don't wanna seal those down in if I can help it. And then I'm going to let this dry for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to take another coat and just cover all of the glitter with the Mod Podge. And um, then I'm going to let that all dry again and I will be ready to bring it to the turner. So I actually like the way these colors came together. I like that this and my background vinyl brought in some more color, different color, pulled from like the stem and the center of the flower. So, I will be back. There we go. I can't pick it up. It's like glued to the mat. So you're just going to have to look at it from there. But Dollar Tree decal, IPP glitter, Elemento P glitter, HTV route vinyl, and Starcraft vinyl. That's it. Pretty simple for this one. And of course, KS resin. So that is all. I appreciate you watching. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe if you want to get notified of when my videos are coming up. Click that notification bell. And I will see you in the next one.